I would now like to call this special meeting of the Coralville City Council to order on December 20th, 2022. Could I have the roll call, please? Councilmember Knutson? Here. Gross? Quinn? Present. Jones? Here. Goodrich? I'll Here. try not to talk when you have this up in your mouth. I'm going to call on you. All council members except council member Gross are present, as is the mayor, the city clerk, the city attorney, the city administrator, and several other staff in the audience. I would entertain a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Moved by Jones, seconded by? Second. Seconded by Goodrich. All in favor, please say aye. 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 The agenda is approved. Uh, next item, community comments. This is a time for members of the public to speak to us about items that aren't on the agenda or items that are on the agenda but are not subject to a public hearing. Each speaker will have five minutes and we do reserve the right to adjust both the individual speaking time and the overall comment time based on the number of speakers or any accommodations that a speaker might need. I don't see anyone. <laughs> here with us this evening so we will move on to item number five parking fees this is the second reading of an ordinance that would raise parking fines to $25 and if not paid in 30 days the fine will increase by $5 and the current fine has not been raised since approximately 1999 could I have the ordinance, please? Ordinance number 2022-1016, an ordinance amending the parking fees introduced for adoption by Council Member Knutson for second consideration, seconded by? Second. Seconded by when? Any questions or comments on this item? Was this change reflected in the budget we just looked at? I don't think you get. I don't know what parking fees. Take in the fine, so. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a large amount of money, I'm guessing. <laughs> Not 169000 Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like there's a lot of people complaining about that. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? Okay. Roll call, please. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Jones? Aye. Goodrich? Aye. Knudsen? Aye. Ordinance passes its second consideration, all eyes with gross <coughs> absent. Item number six, penalties for repeat offenders. This is the second reading of an ordinance that will set penalties for repeat offenders and allow the city to immediately abate nuisance properties if the same violation occurs again within 24 months. Could I have the ordinance, please? Ordinance number 2022-1017. An ordinance amending Chapter 50 of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Coralville regarding setting standard penalties for repeat offenders. Introduced for adoption, second consideration by Council Member Wynn, seconded by. Second. Seconded by Jones. Questions or comments on this item? Okay, could I have the roll call, please? Council Member. Jones? Aye. Goodrich? Aye. Knudsen? Aye. Quinn? Aye. <coughs> Ordinance passes its second consideration, all ayes with gross absent. Item number seven, state revolving loan application. This would set a public hearing on the environmental information document, and this is a requirement in order for us to receive state revolving funds for the West Land Use Central Trunk Sewer Project. The public hearing on this item would be on January 24th, 2023. Could I have the resolution, please? Resolution setting a public hearing on an environmental information document and directing published notice of the same, both for the West Land Use Central Trunk Sewer, introduced for adoption by Council Member Jones, seconded by. Second. Seconded by Goodrich. Questions or comments? Okay, could I have the roll call, please? Councilmember Goodrich. Aye. Knudsen? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Jones? Aye. Resolution is approved. All ayes with gross absent. Item number eight, purchase agreement. 
This would be for a uh, purchase agreement with Bick Rentals LLC for 719 Fifth Avenue, and the purchase price for this zero lot line property would be $300,000. Could I have the resolution, please? Resolution approving a purchase agreement with Bick Rentals LLC for 719 Fifth Avenue, Coralville, Iowa. Introduced for adoption by Council Member Goodrich, seconded by. Second. Seconded by when? Questions? Yeah, the intent of this um, purchase would be then to um, renovate the duplex. Um, also, we need to do some infrastructure at the end of that street, uh, both for stormwater purposes and um, we'll have a turnaround at the end of the street as well and then resell the two um, sides of the duplex um, it, as zero lot lines um, to, to make them owner occupied um, units. Awesome. How'd we settle on the price? Pardon? How did we settle on that price? That was, uh, that was what, I think it's assessed at like 230,000 right now and it's a duplex so you can't sell them separately. So I think you, that, that's, what they, that's what they wanted. Plus they're gonna have to do some work in there to uh, actually make, right now to have a zero lot, you have to put a wall all the way through the attic to make sure that the fire protection's there. So they gotta do some work on top of that too. So right now- so they're that doing that work. They yes. are doing that work, yes. As part of the purchase. As part of this agreement. Oh good, I didn't realize that. Right now it's operating as a single family home? It's a no. duplex. Oh. It's a duplex, but it's, since it's a rental, um, it, and it's old enough, it doesn't meet the separation requirements. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, could I have the roll call, please? Councilmember Knutson? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Jones? Aye. Goodrich? Aye. Resolution is approved, all ayes with gross absent. Item number nine, 28E agreement. This agreement outlines the responsibilities of each party for the construction cost share for the Forever Green Road and Dubuque Street Roundabout project. Could I have the resolution? Resolution approving a 28E agreement with Johnson County regarding the Forever Green Road and Dubuque Street Roundabout project. Introduced for adoption by Council Member Knutson, seconded by. Second. Seconded by Goodrich. Questions or comments? Yeah, this will, um, is, in essence, the 2080 agreement calls for the city and Johnson County to jointly apply for um, MPO JC funds to build that, and then we would split uh, evenly the match for this um, project. Um, we would do this two separate times. There's two funding cycles that would um, we would do, and if that does not work, um, that we don't get funded under one of those two options, then we would have to come back and agree on what the split of funds for the construction of this. Uh, over half of the project uh, will always stay in Johnson County because this would be that area that's already developed on the east side of Dubuque and Rustic Ridge. Um, we would have the um, west side of that um, intersection. And one of the discussions that um, I've had with um, County Supervisor Pat Hyden is, you know, the discussion is, well, is this really for the Forever Green Road, or excuse me, Forever Green Heights development? And the answer is really no. It's for all of the improvements that are needed along Dubuque Street. And the impacts and the positive impacts of the, the study shows will be all the way back on Dubuque Street because of being able to then access directly to 380, 965 um, from, on Forever Green rather than coming back either south or north on Dubuque Street. So there's a lot of positive benefits. One of the other thing that goes along with this that we um, have had a lot of requests on is in regards to the speeds on both Dubuque, North Liberty, First Avenue, um, kind of that whole general area in regards to, you know, can the speeds be decreased? And we can talk about that later. Okay, that's what I wanted to talk about. All right. <laughs> Is this a two lane or one lane uh, roundabout, um, Scott? One. Any other questions? Just appreciate your efforts on this. And, you know, we were originally going to split both of them. Right. with the developer so this has worked out well in, in my view and it would be I think it would be 
great right there. That'll be very helpful for that area. Could I have the roll call, please? Councilmember Wynn? Aye. Jones? Aye. Goodrich? Aye. Knudsen? Aye. Resolution is approved. All ayes with gross absent. Item number 10, board and commission appointment. Appointments. Um, these are, uh, we have several appointments here on a, a variety of commissions, the Civil Service Commission, Library Board of Trustees, Parks and Rec, Planning and Zoning, and East Central Iowa Council of Governments. I won't read through every single one. Um, they are available, you can view them online. The terms of these would expire on December 31st of the year listed. So I would entertain a motion to concur with these recommendations. So move, Madam Mayor. Moved by Jones, seconded by? Second. Seconded by Wynn. We do a voice vote or just a voice vote? Voice, voice vote? Mm -hmm. Okay, could I have the roll call? Uh, voice oh, vote. Just a voice, oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> sorry. Yes. All in, yeah. May, may, All in, yes. may I just ask a question first? Sure. Before, so it came up last night in the rec commission meeting, and I should know the answer to this, but do you, who, how do they find out that they've been reappointed? Somebody asked, um, well, do you advise them or? I, I, yeah, you, or usually it's just communicated through the okay. department heads, I would assume. But just, the only reason I asked yes. that came, one of the members that's being reappointed sure. would just wondered yeah. how they would find out, so. Great. <laughs> okay. I'm sure yeah. they're all watching. Yes. yes. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. Any opposed? The appointments are approved unanimously with gross absent. Item number 11. I would consider a motion to approve the consent calendar as presented. Madam Mayor, I would like to ask Council to consider a motion to approve the consent calendar as presented, A to X. Moved by Huynh, seconded by? Second. Seconded by Jones. Could I get the roll call, please? Could I ask a question on sure. this, too, yeah. just because I don't know? Yeah. So the, um, I had a question about the Iowa goal setting report. Oh. Is this the first time we've seen the report? Or? No, actually, we, this goes back to April, April or May, right. and we just did not formally approve it at that okay. time. Yeah. And yeah. Thor remembered that we okay. needed to approve it when okay. he was going to put it on the uh, yeah. website. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And so that is available for the public? It will be. It will be posted online um, and maintained there. Okay. Yeah. I, I appreciate you mentioning that. Um, that's a very important document. Um, that, you know, was a process we engaged in back in April, and it's, you know, kind of setting the, the vision that we have for the community moving forward. So I really would encourage folks to take a look at that when, when it is posted. Okay. Roll call, please. Councilmember Jones. Aye. Goodrich? Aye. Knudsen? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Consent calendar is approved all ayes with gross absent. Item number 12, city administrator's report. Yeah, thank you, Mayor. Just a couple of quick items. Mm -hmm. um, one I did um, was contacted by Congresswoman Miller Meeks's office today that in the appropriation bill that will be considered this week um, by both the U.S. House and Senate, there is funding in there for two and a half million dollars to go to Coralville and North Liberty for Forever Green Road extension. So if that bill passes um, this week, then that would be included. Um, Scott and I were discussing, we can't rem remember the date of when that needs to be, com the construction needs to be com completed. I was thinking it was 2016, but I'm not for sure on that. 2000 what? 16, or 26, excuse me, <laughs> yeah. 2026, so, and that's all I have, Mayor. Awesome. Um, Mayor's report, I don't have anything other than to just, you know, remind folks we are expecting some uh, inclement weather coming up and just to, you know, drive safe, be safe when you're out and about, if you have to be out and about. And wanted to give a preemptive thank you to our streets department. I know that they're going to be working hard to maintain the the roads uh, with the with the incoming with the incoming storm. And just wanted to wish everyone happy holidays. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope everyone has a fantastic new year. 
City Attorney's Report. Stay warm. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Thank you. Okay, committee and council members report. We'll start down at this end with council member Goodrich. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I'd like to mention the Johnson County Community Police Academy is back up and running this year. Um, I attended, oh, quite a few years ago and it was one of the best uh, winter time things that I did. It's uh, on Mondays from 6 to 9 p.m. from January 23rd to April 3rd and you'll learn so much from the hosts are the Coralville Police Department, Iowa City Police, uh, the County Johnson County Sheriff's, the North Liberty Police, and uh, also someone, oh, the um, University of Iowa Police Departments, and they just do a wonderful job. Each, each week on Monday nights from six to nine, um, you get input and hear and experience what it's like and uh, really learn the, um, the culture and the uh, necessary things that the police department does. And uh, you can sign up for that and the deadline to apply is by January 9th. So um, just go online, Community Police Academy. I'd like to wish everyone a happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Thank you. All right, thank you. Council Member Jones. My comments are the same as yours, Mayor. I just ask uh, everyone to be safe out there over the next few days and <coughs> happy holidays. All right, Council Member Whitten. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I would like to remind everyone that the food pantry will be closing from Thursday to Tuesday of next week. So if you do need food, please come shop with us tomorrow from 5 to 7. That will be the last day that we open until next Tuesday. And with the inclement weather um, on the way, school district already canceled all of their classes for Thursday and Friday. Um, so I know that having kids at home for two extra days sometimes require more food than you have planned for. And we have a lot of food, so please come shop with us. And I would like to wish everyone a safe and happy holidays. Um, if you do travel, safe travels. Thank you. All right, thank you. And then last but not least, Council Member Knudsen. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, just want to thank Alan for helping me find Neighbors into Neighbors program this week. It's holiday season, so a season of giving and, and I think that's a great way to give back to the community and help people uh, with their water bill is, is how that works and, and I did that I thought it was more complicated than it was it's very very easy and encourage people to do that and wish everybody a happy holidays awesome. that's all I got thank you so much okay I would entertain a motion to adjourn so move moved by Huynh seconded by second seconded by Knutson all in favor, please say aye. 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 Our meeting is adjourned.